Hello and welcome to the Rygate College uh, Further Maths video on the coefficient of restitution. This is part of the Further Maths booklet one. So when we have collisions in one dimension, so that's when one particle collides with another, we can use momentum as we've already seen, but we also need to consider how elastic the particles are. And Newton's law of restitution says that the speeds after collision uh, depend on the materials they're made from. And you can work out a uh, ratio of the separation speed over the approach speed, and that gives a coefficient, which is called the coefficient of restitution, and is given the letter E. And this is a measure of how elastic the two particles are. E always takes a value between 0 and 1, and the definition is that E is the speed of separation over the speed of approach. We can also use momentum to solve these sorts of problems. So let's work out some fairly straightforward values of E. So in A, we've got two particles. The second one is stationary. This one's moving with a velocity of 8. And we're told that afterwards A is stationary and B has a velocity of 2. So they've collided and then this is this is before, this is after. So we say that E is the separation speed over approach. The separation speed, the speed with which these two particles move apart is 2. And the approach speed here is 8. So for this first collision, this pair of particles, E is equal to 1 quarter. Second example here, both A and B are moving. So A is catching up with B. So again, we're going to say E is separation over approach. Now the separation here, we need to see what the relative speed of B is to A. And the separation speed is one, it's five minus four. The approach speed is three, because although this is moving with three, this is moving with six. So the approach speed is three. You can usually just see what the values are. Uh, if you want a formula, then you can subtract the two values, but you need to think about which way around you subtract them. In this last example here, we've got E is separation. So the separation here, this is going to the left with the velocity of six. This is going to the right with the velocity of three. So the separation speed is nine. The approach speed here, this is going with 11, this is going towards it with 7. So if you wanted to do it by subtracting, you would say 11 minus minus 7. And that gives you 18. So E is equal to a half. If you get a negative value for E, you've done something wrong. So you need to be aware of that. So E is separation over approach. It's not something you get in the formula book. So make sure that each time you use E, you say to yourself, separation over approach, so that you learn that that's the way round that formula is used. Looking at a question where we use momentum as well, we've got a lot of text up here, which we translate into a diagram. Two particles, A and B, we're going to change their masses into kilograms, so 0.2 and 0.4. They're moving in opposite directions towards each other with a speed of five and with a speed of four. They collide and immediately after collision, they have velocities V1 and V2 measured in the direction of motion of A. If you don't know which way the particles are moving after collision, always put them going to the right, I would say. If you've got one of them, uh, if one of them is going the other way, that value will come out as negative. You're told that the coefficient of restitution is a half. So we're going to start off using conservation of momentum. So principle of conservation of momentum. And I've got the momentum before 0.5, sorry, 0, uh, 5 multiplied by 0 0.2. And it's going to be minus 4 times 0 0.4 is equal to 0 0.2 V1 plus 0.4 V2. So this here gives me 1, take away 1.6, so that's minus 0.6, 
is equal to 0.2 V1 plus 0.4 V2. And I'm going to multiply all the way through by 10 on this equation. So I get minus 6 is 2 V1 plus 4 V2, just because I don't really want to have those decimals in there. I'm now going to use Newton's law of restitution that says E is separation over approach. So I've got a half is the separation speed. Now, V2 must be going faster than V1. In a collision, the particle on the right will have to move faster. So we've got V2 minus V1, that's the separation speed, over the approach speed. The approach speed here is nine. So that's equal to nine. And rearranging that, I get that nine is equal to two V2 minus two V1. So I've got two simultaneous equations here, equation one and equation two. And you should be able to see that if you add these two equations, the V1s are going to cancel out. So if I add these two equations, make it clear what you're doing. Minus six plus nine is three equals the V1s cancel, and I'm left with 6V2. So that gives me that V2 is a half. So this particle is moving to the right with a speed of a half. Substitute back in to find out what V1 is equal to. So I'm going to substitute back into this one here. So I get minus 6 is equal to 2 times V1 plus 4 times a half is 2. So V1 is going to be minus 8 over 2, which is minus 4. So V1 is moving back in that direction there. Now it asks you to find V1 and V2. So I think we can just say that V1 is minus 4 meters per second. Because these are given as velocities. It doesn't ask for speed. So I think we're fine to put that it's minus four and V2 is equal to a half a meter per second. So we've used principle of conservation of momentum, Newton's law of restitution and simultaneous equations. And that's a pretty standard question uh, for these, this topic. We can also use Newton's law of restitution when a particle collides with a vertical plane or when it collides with the floor, we can also do it there. So if we just look at this, we've got speed of rebound over speed of approach. This is actually the same equation because speed of rebound, I would still call that speed of separation. So if we look at this situation here, ball comes towards a wall with the speed of U, comes away from it with the speed of V. E is separation over approach, so we can say E is separation. Well, after the collision, the separation is V, the wall isn't moving, um, and before, the speed of approach is U. So we get E is V over U. And sometimes you can just use this by saying that the rebound speed is E times the approach speed. So the final speed is E times the speed of approach. And that can be a useful shortcut. If you know something is going towards a wall with a uh, velocity of 10, and you know the coefficient of restitution is a half, it will come away with a velocity of five. Now let's look at this question here. We've got a sphere falling from rest onto a smooth horizontal plane. So this is moving down, it rebounds, up to a height of 12 and we've got to find the coefficient of restitution so it's released from rest so we're going to have to use some suvat equations to find the speed with which it hits the ground so here we've got that the initial speed is naught because it's released from rest the distance it travels is 0.3 we need to be in meters for this the acceleration is 9.8 because i'm taking positive uh, the downwards direction is positive, and I want to find V. So I'm going to use V squared 
is u squared plus 2as. And I get that b squared is 2 times 9.8 times 0.3. And that gives me a value for v of 2.425 meters per second. The ball is then going to come bounce up again. So it, it's going to rebound and we don't know its rebound speed. and We want to know that to work out E and then it's going to reach up to here and this is going to be, it's going to get to its highest point. This height it reaches is 12 centimeters, which is 0.12. So we're going to use uh, SUVAT again. I would write up here just to show that I've got two separate situations. So here, the initial speed, we don't know what it is, but we want to find that out. The final speed is zero. The acceleration, be careful, is minus 9.8, and the displacement is 0.12. So again, we're going to use v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Substituting in, I get naught is u squared, which I'm trying to find out, minus 2 times 9.8 times 0.12. And when I work that out, I get that u is equal to 1.5336. Now, I've got to work out the coefficient of restitution here. You need to be quite careful because we've used v and u for the values in the SUVAT equation. So we need to just think what's happening. What we've got is a ball approaching the ground with a speed of 2.425 and then leaving the ground afterwards with a speed of E multiplied by that, um, but with a speed of 1.5336. So if I use E is separation over approach, the separation speed is 1.5336. The approach speed is 2.425. And when you divide that on your calculator, you get 0.632. So the key point here is that the speed with which something comes away from a wall will be E multiplied by by the speed it approaches it, but it's exactly the same as in the previous work. E is separation over approach. And the other point to note is that we quite often have to use SUVAT equations in order to solve these kinds of questions. <laughs>